What's up, Doombots? Tony Scongili here with kind of a hot take on the Symbiote Spider-Man milestones. The good, the bad, and unfortunately, the ugly. Uh, just to start, we're going to lead off with the good. And there is good to these milestones. The thing that I find uh, slightly refreshing in these milestones is the idea that they will come back. And uh, that is a great thing for uh, any player at any level obviously because you have multiple chances but more because a long milestone event tends to be uh, strenuous on your resources you might not be able to spend 1.2 or 1.8 million gold a day and while uh, to uh, get the four shards from the spend gold milestone you definitely should be able to spend the 1,140 energy over two days required to get pretty much all the two Symbiote Spider-Man from the Save the World event. And as far as I can tell, the World Warrior Milestone shouldn't be too difficult a task to complete if you were already completing them. As a matter of fact, uh, it should be a little bit easier. I believe that the total points have been lowered. Uh, and that's good. Again, the idea that this is an event that will take place up over about 30 days and return, preferably within two or three weeks of the end of the first milestone, really gives players a chance to prepare for the event, which is something that we don't get too often. We tend to be forced into panic farm situations as a method to spend money. This type of event benefits players at all levels, uh, whether you spend and have already purchased Symbiote Spider-Man or whether you don't or can't or don't feel like because of a boycott or something, and uh, you want to be able to unlock the character. So it's very reasonable the way these are designed right now, that not only will you unlock Symbiote Spider-Man, guaranteed almost, uh, it is very likely that you will get a particularly decent chunk of Symbiote Spider-Man shards over the supposedly three uh, passes of this milestone. So that is the good. Unfortunately, there is some bad. So... The bad is almost directly in opposition to the good, and you have to look at the good to see it. The good we've already established, multiple milestones helps a lot of players. The bad, as a result of that, the number of character shards you get over the course of each individual milestone is significantly tapered now i've not run the numbers myself i've been told many different numbers within a close range i've been told 170 if you get every single one i've been told uh 210 so i'm gonna just assume and i know that's wrong that about 200 shards per run is uh what you can get if you max these out now that's not incredibly rewarding uh, for players who do complete it. And again, we've already established that the World Warrior, if you were already completing it, you will continue to complete it. And if you were just missing the opportunity, it, it's not going to get better for you. Um, like, you're going to have to put more work in. As far as the campaign energy, it stands to reason that every player should be capable of 600 energy per day as that is the key requirement whether you're not putting 600 energy in a day kind of is indicative of your ability uh to play the game uh, and that doesn't actually cost any money uh that's just how many you can get by using your daily core allowance to progress uh, and even if you don't normally uh, that usually means you've been banking cores and this would be the time to use them as with any campaign milestone I do feel like a 30-day event run three times with 
potential chance to change in the future kind of is tapered down from what it could be or what it should be, which is not three different chances to continue to progress your symbiote Spider-Man, but three chances at the progression line of symbiote Spider-Man, if that makes sense. Um, you want to be able to... Every milestone should be independently rewarding as opposed to a part of a rewarding process. Now, if unlocking a character is all you care about, then... Honestly, these milestones are probably fine for you. Whether you want to draw numerical comparisons to previous milestones, Mysterio or Coulson, you're welcome to. And, and that's whatever you can draw. But if you only care about getting Symbiote Spider-Man because you like him, then these milestones are adequate. You, you will accomplish the task. If you do plan on getting your Symbiote Spider-Man to a level in which he can be considered usable in end game content, uh, and then it includes raids, Dark Dimension, uh, well, specialty raids, obviously. Spider-Verse is still a tag in a couple of things. It, this doesn't really help that. you, Assuming you go completely all in in all the milestones, and assuming my number of about 200 or so shards is correct, you will still end up with somewhere between a 5 and 6 red uh six regular star symbiote spider-man we're not talking about red stars and that's that's kind of lackluster it, it's it's not a missed opportunity it's just a par for the course fox next decision of change something and give you more or less the minimum they could as opposed to keep things the same and just do it more frequently and i think in the past previous milestones had they came back uh if we think of like a 60 day colson milestone if that was the 30-day Coulson milestone that you got uh, two different times, I would also imagine that that would also have more character shards. So I treat it more like the campaigns that they use once and then we never see again unless there's some kind of crazy event. And that's the bad. And then, unfortunately, we have the ugly and we don't have to go much further than YouTube uh, or Reddit to kind of see the true uh, or the truth about symbiote spider-man to kind of see the truth about symbiote spider-man and the truth is this is in fact par for the course fox next decisions this isn't a this hasn't been affected by any feedback from the community uh, whether it be regarding any boycott or just in general this is just another way Fox Next operates where if they give you anything, they will take something else away. Uh, now, you can see a couple of conversations about, the, as we mentioned before, the calculator, the spreadsheet, like how many shards you get and whether it's easy or hard to obtain the minimal amount of shards uh, that you can accomplish or whether unlocking Symbiote Spider-Man is difficult, et cetera, et cetera. But... What really matters, at least from my perspective, is that while they did increase, uh, I don't know if this was increased, I think they gave you five over four at the end, I, I don't remember. So it's basically the same amount. There are a couple of things, oh no, it's a little bit more. Great, they give us a little bit more, I apologize. It. it, it they return to form and giving catalyst parts instead of, uh, well, in some situations. And they, they remove the orbs, the purple orbs. Uh, this Nothing in this game has any actual value. I just want to remind you, everything in this game has a prescribed or ascribed value. You decide. They tell you, and you decide if you believe it. That's just how it works, whether it's buying red stars or a free gift or a login calendar you know like this week month is electra and that probably doesn't speak for the entire community for any reason why did they remove the ability to obtain these it was unnecessary and as far as i can concern it or as far as i'm concerned or can tell two reasons uh, potentially there could be more comment below if you think you have another reason 
the first is they had designed this milestone well before they ever implemented this. Um, and as we've learned from patches and with the most recent challenge tiers, they tend to never, ever, ever do QA, which is why the characters come out with old kits, they sit on things, and they don't release them. If that's the case, I, I support the fact that they get things done and are somewhat prepared. I don't support the fact that they never, under any circumstances, go back and check, if that's the case. The other option is that they determined that giving these out would be too much value in addition to symbiote spider-man shards and that just doesn't feel good i don't think anyone would disagree that if that were the case that feels terrible right like we don't want that so the ugly is even if this event does feel like an easier mechanism to unlock symbiote spider-man it falls short as far as what truly is a meaningful at least within the terms of this game progression into symbiote spider-man which is without spending money you will have maybe a three-star symbiote spider-man possibly a four-star and over the course of the entire event if you really do spend 1.8 million gold a day and accomplish obviously the milestones which i'm considering a foregone conclusion for most players in general it's going to take a very long time to gain access to a character and as a three star or four star character is nice to look at but doesn't really give you dividends as far as building a character goes as we can talk about from colossus uh, it's it's a bad look overall so while i do recap tldr while i do think that they they were in a really good place with the idea of these milestones i think ultimately these milestones need to be exactly where uh, they were in the past, which is the amount of effort you put in immediately impacts you now, and the fact that it's coming back is not a part of the release mechanism, but a bonus to the release mechanism. Therefore, as poorly as you may do on the first pass, you can definitely prepare and keep going and progressing for the second and the third pass. Anyway, that's my take on it. Uh, I'm supposed to say this now, so... You know, comment below, uh, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. I don't know why. Maybe you just want to. But, you know, let me know what you think, uh, even if you just don't like my hat. Uh, I think that they just missed on this. I don't think it's as bad as a lot of people are saying, or more specifically, I don't think it's as bad as the reasons people are giving. But I do think that, again, Fox Next has clearly made these decisions far ahead. Nothing they're doing right now is in reaction to the community. They might have made this in reaction to the community months ago and have not addressed anything new. That's what I would believe because that's what I would be doing. I'd be working months ahead and not months behind. But uh, I don't take this as a positive or negative in reaction to how we, the community, have been discussing things with them recently, whether you be the Fix MSF movement or otherwise. So, like I said, comment below, let me know what you think, and uh, have a good night, have a great day. Uh, I've been Tony Scangeli, and I'll catch you later.